Hey everyone, how is it going? We are live here on the Technicolor Mike B Show with another Animal Design Animals A to Z. Today's design is W is for Wolf. Yes, went for the Wolf design today. Yeah, I had a few choices available for the letter W. There was the Wolverine, the Walrus, the Warthog, the Wasp, the Whale, and of course, the Wolf and the Werewolf. So yeah, wolves are the largest member of the dog family. They can weigh 200 pounds when they are fully grown. Yeah, all dogs are descendant from wolves. They are distant cousins since we started domesticating dogs thousands of years ago. So wolves like to live in a pack which contains somewhere between six and ten other wolves, all members of their family. The young wolves will remain in their parents' pack for at least two years after they're born. After that, they may uh, go off and join another uh, pack or start their own family. Um, yeah, so, yeah. They said that when a pack of wolves howl, that you can hear them howling from 10 miles away. So, yeah, they are fairly loud howlers. Yeah, so what are the, uh, the wolves that we think of in pop culture? See, usually they are villainous uh, characters that are going to uh, cause death and destruction. But if you are into mythology, uh, Roman mythology says that the twin brothers Romulus and Remus, who, the, the, the boys who eventually... Uh, founded the city of Rome, they were rescued by a wolf. So yeah, according to the myth, when the uh, boys were babies, they were cast into the Tiber River, and they were rescued and cared for by a wolf. But that is one of the few stories I could uh, really come up with where wolves were not the evil character but sort of a prominent figure that was a hero of sorts uh, saving the boys Romulus and Remus so other stories with wolves the boy who cried wolves wolf uh, that uh, comes from Aesop's fable if uh, you aren't familiar with Aesop he was a slave and storyteller believed to have lived in ancient Greece somewhere between 620 and 560 BCE. So he had uh, the boy who cried wolf amongst his stories. Little Red Riding Hood, the European fairy tale about a young girl and the big bad wolf. Uh, they say that there are, it's, it was an oral tradition, but the, the two best known versions of the story, one was written by Charles Perrault, and the other from the Brothers Grimm. So they said, they said that uh, Charles Perrault collected a bunch of tales together and published them for the very first time in... 1697 and Little Red Riding Hood or some variant of it was included in his publication. There is the story of the three little pigs, the fable about three pigs who build houses of different materials. The exact origin of that story is also um, not really known. And 
Peter and the Wolf, the musical, uh, written for ch uh, children by uh, Russian uh, Sergei uh, Pokhovev in 1936. And yeah, besides the uh, wolf, there are the werewolves. Those are people who could turn into a wolf-like creature. Uh, some of them can do it on when they want to. Others, it's more of a curse, and they turn into a wolf on the full moon. And on TV, there was Eddie Munster from The Munsters. He was a wolf, a werewolf. I, I know, I always just consider him a wolf boy as opposed to a werewolf. But they, they said that he was the werewolf. And if you like the Harry Potter series, there was Professor Lupin, who turned into a, a werewolf every month. But I was thinking, like, usually, other than those, the werewolf is a monstrous character, someone that is feared that will kill and be deadly, but I, growing up uh, in 1985, Michael J. Fox starred in two movies. One of them was Back to the Future, and the other one is probably a little less known, Teen Wolf, where he uh, played a high school student named Scott Howard, who discovers that he is a werewolf. So yeah, um, he goes from being just an average boy into being the star of his high school's basketball team who hadn't won a game in several seasons. Now he transforms into a wolf and his athletic ability increases. He can sh shoot the basket and score. And yeah, and so instead of the school being afraid of werewolves, they embrace him as a hero and they get wolf fever. So that show uh, spawned a cartoon series that I think was on like Saturday morning for a year or two, called, also called Teen Wolf. And uh, I think they expanded the family so it wasn't just um, uh, Scott Howard and his parents, but I think he had like a grandfather and a sister and some other uh, family members who also transform into wolves or werewolves. Yeah, so this is my attempt at a werewolf design. And now, werewolf, just a regular gray wolf design. Not quite as fierce. Like, I could, guess I could have given him the black nose to, to more identify him as a wolf. So, yeah. Just working our way through the alphabet, I think there's just like three letters left. Um, after W, there's X, Y, and Z. Will I come up with a fun design for each of those letters? You'll have to keep watching to find out. So until next time, see you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Ooh!